our adventures take place in the lands of Tamriel. History has been made over the course of the four eras and yet what do we actually know about the other lands outside of Tamriel? Well today I am going to give you some of that information. That information that you all thrive on. Plus it teaches me some stuff too, so you know. Cool. Right, so we are going to talk about Atmora or Altmora, whatever floats your boat. Some of its history and just the basics so you have an understanding of the place itself. So let's get into it. And Maik isn't actually Atmorn. What is Atmora? So Atmora is this icy continent way up north of Skyrim. Don't get confused by some of the names across Tamriel and this map by the way. This is the updated version of Nern by the end of the events of Skyrim. So there is a few changes but that's okay, we can do that in another video. So this massive icy continent to the north has a lot of impact on the northern part of Tamriel and we are going to get into that now. So we really only have information on the Atmora during the Meretic Era, I th, again. This era started 2500 years before the first era began, It's kind of like Jesus' time, you know? But I managed to pull some more on other parts of it, so let's go a bit back to the Dawn Era, back to the beginning of time. So sometime during the Dawn Era, the great chief of the Nine Divines, Oriel, took charge of Atmora. He had the original ancestors of the elves, the Elnofi, if I pronounced that right, placed on Atmora. At some point afterwards, men managed to conquer Atmora with the help of Shor, or Lorcan, and all that because screw the elves. So ancient men now have Altmer, bronze is found, fire is discovered, all that. So moving on to the Meritic Era, some stuff happened here. Some stuff including Isgrimor. You know Isgrimor, right? The real Really cool respected ancient dude from Skyrim, if you've played it, which I assume you have. But before we discuss Isgrimor, let's talk of the first men who left Atmora. For you see, Atmora was becoming uninhabitable. The climate was just too much, it was too cold. This all occurring around the late Merite era. God damn it. Over the course of a couple of hundred year intervals, men would sail across the Sea of Ghosts from Atmora to Tamriel, all coming over with the reasons being that it was just too cold. These men are thought to be the first ones to land in Tamriel by the way. The system was simple for the men of Atmora. The more who left, the more who followed. You know, monkey see, monkey do. If they can leave, why can't I? So a great civil war burst out at some point to match the harsh cold of Atmora. This just made Atmora non-livable at this point. So the last known official migrants decided to leave for Tamriel. And you are familiar with one of them, the legendary Isgrimor. Yes, Isgrimor was Atmoran, but what you need to realize that all these men who came over from Atmora led to the bringing about of three races, Imperial Nords and Breton. When I say the last migrants by the way, I mean this is during the Meritic era, there is some later, but we'll get into that after. So Isgrimor sailed over to Tamriel and made contact and friends with the Snow Elves. He even built the great city of Sartal. TH. But during an event known as the Night of Tears, the elves drove the men off, so Isgrimor was forced to return to Altmer where the land had become a bit more peaceful, so he inspired 500 men to go and help him. But you know, elves are useless, so Isgrimor came back with these 500 companions and destroyed Sartal TH, and hunted down and killed a lot of elves. These events ended up transpiring to the creation of the first Nordic Empire. So these are the biggest major events that unfolded from Atmora, but there is a couple of more small things through the years. Let me show you through the I swear I didn't make it in paint timeline. So during the first era in the year 68 the final recorded immigrants from Atmora came to Tamriel. Apparently these ships were filled with mostly corpses. It is said that Tiber Septum came from Atmora during the second era but that wouldn't make too much sense if the last recorded immigrants came in the first era. So this idea is extremely vague and maybe not true. Fast forward all the way to the third era. Some expeditions took place which headed over to Atmora. Apparently there was little to no life, no sign of people just cold barren wastelands. That means that either the remaining Atmorans went somewhere else or just succumbed to the coldness. It's a shame. A cool little thing though, in the book The 36 Lessons of Vivek, it's said that both Nerevar and Vivek head over to Atmora but apparently found the old kings all frozen up. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't expect Atmora to ever be a place to return to the Elder Scrolls and it's way out of the question that it would be the sixth game, especially since Skyrim was the last one and that was a cold place so they wouldn't do that again. It would be stupid if they did. There's not in there anymore. It's completely inhabitable so all we can really do is respect its history and the fact that it brought Iskrimor about and maybe Tiber Septum. Who knows? He's a cool dude. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and if you did and you like Elder Scrolls content then feel free to subscribe. I make videos weekly. As always, I hope you enjoyed.